can can we talk about how disturbing it is to be listening to the guy coughing and the backtrack to this and realize I'm doing the exact same thing? That's a big old two thumbs up for me there. So that's that's good. Well, if they're one direction, what direction are they? They are every direction. Let's be real. They are every direction. So, first things first, I know I was a little late. I apologize. I wanted to make sure I ate before we started the autopsy today of um, potentially a dude that was murdered by his rabid dogs. I have no idea. Um, so, I, I ate. I also have hot drink, and 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 I have a cold drink, and I have a full bag of cough drops. So we are set. Uh, how's everybody doing? I hope you all took care of yourselves yesterday. Um, you kind of saw you said you got like two hours of sleep. I am legit in that same boat. Um, my sleep tracker this morning was literally like you tossed and turned and moved and coughed so much like we could not actually track a sleep pattern for you cool that's that's, that's, that's fine that's fine um i will tell you that like the vibes i'm getting from what i have right now it almost kind of feels like i did when i first got covid like it came on pretty quick because it's the thor the, the thor the thor the sore scratchy throat, it's the dry coughing, I'm stuffed up a little bit. I'm hoping it doesn't go any further than this because I don't want to be sick, nor do I really want to have COVID. So, one minute, one day at a time, right? It's how, it's how we're operating. I think it's how we're operating. I'm not sure anymore. Um, autopsies, those with yes. We got to the autopsy yesterday, and I kind of went, yeah, no. Plus, we've been live for, like, almost four and a half hours, something like that. So I was like, I, I, I need to end. I need food. Um, and I can't go that late today. Uh, I am picking up a kid from school, so I have to have time to walk down to their school to go get them. So, uh, we will be kind of holding to a... Well, that got light really quick. Today. Um. Yeah. Whatever I was about to say, I said. Uh, <laughs> COVID mode, wait till you get dissection stomach. Um, nope. I don't know if you just heard the guy in the background, but it was like, <laughs> yeah, that's been me. So. We are, uh. We're going to take this one step at a time. I'm going to grab a cough drop now and pop that in. And then we're going to start an autopsy. So I hope everybody ate before because I don't think you're going to want to eat during this. Um, this probably isn't going to be that bad. I mean, let's be really honest with the games out there nowadays. Um, if this were the Jack the Ripper game that was out on, like, actual, like, disc a bajillion years ago, I'd probably be more concerned. Um... Fun that dead body been done. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So y'all, y'all ready? Go carefully, Holmes. Even so. I wanna. I must clean the body first. Oh, never mind then. I must mark the places to cut. Okay, let's let's cut then, shall we? Oh, really? They're they're not My making this. My notches are ready. No, it is unnecessary. Really. Nah. I can't do that. Well, what do you want to do then? Or do you want, want Oh. What is that? Uh, 
a ball of paper swallowed recently. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. No. Um, no, there's that up. One Direction, or one interview asked us, and Larry answered, it would be up. Our fans lift us up to the sky. Is it even the limit with them? They're amazing. There we go. It's fair. I think your dad is a tons of laughter. Yeah. Yeah, there, there was. Um. No, it is unnecessary. Oh, that's right. I gotta, I need to grab this tool. No, it is unnecessary. As long as I'm, like, just cutting open... This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. No. Thank you. What should we do next, Holmes? I must analyze the contents of my pipette. Um, oh, there's a work table over here. Cool. Chemistry. And smells as bad as the one in our sitting room at Baker Street. But probably infinitely more cleaner. Let's let's be real. Um I I don't have Oh, that. There you go. This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. Mm. Alright, we did this last week. We just gotta pay really good attention. Last week, yesterday. We did this yesterday. Uh, okay, so four blue, one white... That was not what I wanted. There we go. Try that again. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five green, two white, two brown. Oh, uh, two white, five green. Four green, two blue, one white. Was it four green, one white, two blue? It was. Two brown, two white. Okay. Two brown, two white. Um, and one white. Really, that was it? Poison, and apparently very virulent. Um, results of the analysis of the poison that was administered to Kurtz, a substance that provokes a heightened aggression close to madness, considerably, considerably heighten the subject's muscular strength. Provoke extreme degeneration of skin tissue following deep wounds, substance non-fatal. Okay. Um We must finish our deduction board, Holmes. If you say so. Um There's nothing else here. Um, I 
Okay, um... Measure of opium and poison? Oh, good lord. Um... Good lord. Um... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, I don't know why I'm hungry all of a sudden. No, sir. No, no, sir. Thank you. Thank you, no. So what am I missing? This is when I get lost. So it was the same poison. Hmm. The murderers. Poisoned by them. Right? At least it feels like this is right. I'm lost. I'm already lost, Chad. This is this is not a good thing. This is this is this is not a good thing at all. Um Deduction Kurtz. Because I am confused. Because you would think, think maybe that would be the actual option. Come on. Opium. Lurkity, smirkity, dirk, murkity, burk, lurkity, herkity, lurk, when I do Star Wars. Yeah, no. Do your midterm art assignment, then Star Do. I love you, but your schoolwork comes first, and you know this. Also, I'm going to have to actually turn on the light, because it's not light enough outside to keep me lit up. Sad face. It makes me sad. Um, okay, what am I missing here? That's that one. Um, 
We already had that. We did that. Okay. Um. I have these all right, right? Let's see. Poisoned by the bishop. These are all right, though. Oh, now you tell me it's right. Are you kidding me? That was a most instructive post-mortem. This man was murdered by his accomplices. I'm mad. Because of his I'm mad, chap. I I'm see. mad. He was overly conspicuous walking around with a bandaged hand. As the police would have been looking for a man with a missing finger. I'm almost done with it. I don't care. Finish it first. I'm making it look like a dog attack. The post-mortem revealed the presence of poison in his system. Yes, Everything it did. Everything points to it being a less potent form of the poison we found in the bishop's rooms. This man died as much from the poison as from fighting against those animals. I believe this new version of the substance provokes such a rage that the victim attacks anything in his path. And in this instance, it was dogs. We're dealing with sorcerer's apprentices whose creations are ever evolving. They are attempting to obtain a particular effect. So if you guys were here yesterday for this, I think we're pretty much on the road that it's You're rabies. Saying that his accomplices forced him to drink it. No, he took it himself voluntarily. The poison wasn't to be found in his blood, but in his lungs. I also discovered numerous traces of opium. I'm beginning to see. They mixed this horrible poison with his own, mm -hmm. knowing that he would soon smoke it to ease the pain caused by his wound. Exactly. And such a profound knowledge of both chemistry and toxicology is uncommon. Very well. We know the reason and the manner, but we're really not any further ahead. How will we find the two other men who murdered the bishop? By going to 13 Burner Street. It is in this area. But where did you get that address, home? Yeah, good From question. Stomach. I see. He wanted to get rid of the address. No, he wanted revenge. I don't follow you. I'm locked. When the man with the missing finger began to feel the effects of the poison, he knew that he was going to die, and he knew that there would be a post-mortem. Shall we go? I'm so lost. So the dude wrote the address on a piece of paper, swallowed it, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. No chance for it to be erased. Unless, like, they knew he had done it and watched him die and, like, grabbed his body. Because then, like, I guess that would make sense? Question mark? Oh, hey, so where is number 13 and what street am I heading towards? Wait, lady. Get away from me. Um, so where is this other area they want me to go to? Because I'm confused. Oh, I can't zoom in. Um... What did he say it was? 13 what? Um no 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 thirteen burner. Okay, so let's see if we can find burner straight. I guess. This is Whitechapel Street. I'm looking for the side streets here. Oh burner, right here. Alright. Let's go see if we can find number 13. 3, 4, 4, where is it? Hi dude. There's 8. Number 9. 
11. I'm assuming it continues this way. 12. Well. What am I expecting that? This sign would appear to be that of an establishment not fit for honest folk. It's a sign in an Asian language. Y y you have an issue with that? There's our opium den, Watson. Let's go. Cool. And we also have opium well, den on their list for the day. Welcome. What can I do for you? One of your regular clients looked within himself to give us your address. He was very helpful. Oh, I understand. Our clients quickly become regulars. Your friend isn't with you? Sadly, no. He is tied up with his dogs. I understand. I too love dogs. Come in and make yourselves at home. As long as you're not eating them, then we're fine. Game. There we go. Oh, everybody is. Poor Ow. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. If you say so. Poor devil. Yeah, yeah, you already said that. Jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Jasmine tea is actually really good. Ashes. It's not very clean. That surprises you by any fact of the imagination? Poor. Yeah, yeah. You said the same thing over and over again. Looking for anything of help. D move, man. A pity I don't understand Chinese. Something like that, anyway. Well, before we look at that door, please excuse us, sir. It's not allowed here. Go on a bit further. Okay. So apparently, we have to get through this door. Closed. <laughs> well, we have searched everywhere apart from two rooms. One of these rooms interests me particularly. You are Just thinking a of bit. the guarded room, aren't you, Holmes? Mm -hmm. I am indeed. But we should not consider any confrontation with the guard. Indeed. Let us be discreet indeed. and enter the adjoining room. It's locked, and it wouldn't be very discreet if we were to force it. Nope. Nevertheless, we do need to get in there. And the manager? Let us find a way of distracting his attention. Such as... Um. Dirty water. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. I was like, please do not let it be any kind of dishes or anything, because I would cry. <laughs> the key to the locked room is here. I must find a means of getting the receptionist well, okay. out of the way. Have you chosen somewhere to sit, gentlemen? Not yet, but we would like to ask you... Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. Someone will take care of you. You're not helpful. There's something else I need, and I don't know what. Mm. 
There's gotta be something that I'm missing. I'd particularly rather not sit on any of these really dirty, tar, opium stained things. Mm, jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Okay. Why did we take? Do I need to give the jasmine tea to the dude and offer him to come sit with me? Is that what I needed to do? Question mark. Why did I take the dirty water? We'll take that. Have you chosen somewhere to sit? Not yet. Make us. <clears throat> okay, that didn't help. Um. Hmm. Have to find a way to distract the dude. It's gnarly. You can't come in here. It's private. Please excuse us, sir. Hmm. It's gotta be something somewhere. What that is, I don't know. Oh. It's not very clean here. Uh, I'm confused. Oh, do I have to get everything to make it look like I'm having a really good time? Is that what I have to do? Get everything to make it look like I'm having a good time? Not yet. Make yourself. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you. What do you think, Holmes? I think I'm screwed right now, is what I think. That's so what I think, because there's nowhere to honestly sit. Yeah, I don't know. You're not feeling well, dude. Look at you. I am missing so much. I feel... Like, normally I feel really smart with these things. Not today, I don't. I have no idea how that dude is still wearing a top hat. Like, I'm seeing shoes and everything. Like, yes, I know you want me to move faster, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Closed. coughing I really really hate coughing all right um I just don't know what I'm missing like something here isn't adding up I'm kind of lost here, chat. 
I'm I'm straight up lost. Um. Uh. There we go. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. No. Rude. <coughs> like, we grabbed the. Yes, dude, I agree. I fully straight up agree. Let's grab another cough drop, shall we? Um. No, 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 no. Let's see, I did all that. Okay, um... Team made with dirty water- oh. oh! 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 No! No, thank you! Holmes, you talked about making a client sick, but you were exaggerating. Surely, you aren't going to force someone to drink- Another of our differences, my friend. You cure people, I make them sick. What's the matter? Are you ill? Hey, mister! It'll be all right. Breathe! No, thank you. Dirty water with jasmine tea. And ashes. Like, absolutely not. Ew. Shit, I didn't see which one it is that I need. What was the key I needed? That one? Okay. See, I wouldn't have thought about actually combining those items. <clears throat> so it's this one. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> oh, goodness. I used the key. I had the right. Mm. Freaking wrong button. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Watson, put the key back in its place before the manager notices that it's missing. I shall be quick. Please do. I managed to return the key without being seen. Thank Perfect. you. Let's go in. Okay. <clears throat> There's a, a lot going on here. Window. There's this a lot going on here. This is very thin and solid. This stick will serve as a weapon or for something else. Serve as a weapon or for something else. That's... All this material must be for heating opium before smoking it. Okay. Phew! What a stink! This bottle is full of barbiturate acid. We okay. use it in medicine sometimes as a tranquilizer. Ew. <laughs> this small opening gives onto the guarded room. Holmes, shh, listen. Yeah, well that's the difference. I don't mind getting money for killing, but he was a sort of pope or something. And we didn't even get... Yeah, I know, I got <coughs> nice rich man's boots. They must be worth...
worth about 20 pounds. But even so, and the boss ain't happy. And when I see him unhappy, I'm afraid. I don't fancy ending up like Kurtz. Really? You couldn't even give the guy, like. Perhaps you're right. But we'll have a words? chance to make up. <clears throat> we just have to get it right this time. Because he won't forgive us so easily next time. They are the bishop's murderers, Holmes. The fiends. Calm down, Watson. We'll have to take care of the guard at the entrance. I think we should be able to find something in this place that would put an elephant to sleep. Very good. But then what? Then we take care of those two devils. Phew! What a stink! This bottle is full of barbiturate acid. Yes, you've said that. <clears throat> A syringe that could be useful. All right. Small balls of opium. I'll take a spoonful. As long as you don't plan on smoking it, dude. Coffin. I need something. What do we need? I need something. I need something. Oh, do I need to give you the 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 thingy first? Um. Um. I need something. I need something. I need something. Okay. I need something. I'm... I don't know what, dude. Uh, that? I need something. Um... I need... Like what? I don't... I don't know what you need. <clears throat> Is that what you need? You need... you need that? I need something. I need something. Oh my god, dude, what do you need? You need the syringe? Is that what you need? I need something. <clears throat> no? Okay, what else? What else do we need? What else am I missing? Um... Do I just do I need the stick? Is that what you need? Maybe it's a stick? I need something. What do you- what the what, the what and the who and the how? Holmes, do you really think that this is the appropriate moment? I need a matches. Don't worry, Watson. My mind only requires stimulation when it is unoccupied. That is not the case at the moment. I am merely heating these opium balls sure. to obtain a liquid solution. Oh my god, Music Girl! Thank you, you for the 28 months! Oh my goodness. There, Holmes. Be careful, such a dose could be lethal. This door shouldn't be open. Let's hide, Holmes. This place isn't very favorable for that. I hate the idea, but we will have to rely on luck. Excuse me. There is I'm very, very sorry. We've been locked in. Oh my goodness. This cough is killing me. Music girl, how you doing, sweetie? Again, thank you for the 28 months. I appreciate your face. Um, I also saw Dakum. Uh, hi, hi, Meowdy. Hope you're most feeling better today. I wish. I wish. Working, so no sound. Hogs popping later. Dakum, I love your face. Music girl, how are you? How are you? What are you doing on this Thursday? Can I finish this?
Hello? Closed. Yeah, you just locked me into a room with a bunch of opium. Oh, hey. Um, I'm at a loss of what to do right now. How are we going to get out of here? Um, things and stuff, that's how. Things and stuff. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That works, though. Um. That's not what I need. I need that. That. There we go. Syringe with opium. Okay. So never mind. Let me take what I wanted. <clears throat> uh, no, it's a snow day. I was like, what are you doing all on a Thursday? Did Jimmy get a snow day too, or did he actually have to go in today? I think that window is large enough for us to squeeze through. It's gonna this have to be. Is well and truly stuck. We'll have to pull it free. Okay. I think that window is this wind. Oh, do I need? I need you. Yes. It's open, but this window is damnably heavy. We need something to keep it wedged open. Um. <clears throat> stick. Good. We can get out of here. After you, my dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. Okay, cool. We made it out. Um. Then I'm guessing. I'm gonna need that. You can't come in here. It's private. Please excuse us, sir. Um, we're not. Uh, nope, I'm home. Jimmy's not nice. He got salty because the phone call I got told me I did a little woke him up. The right after his homeroom started, I got the second call, but it's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, he had it happen last week, right? Put the guy to sleep with the syringe. How do I put him to sleep with the syringe? It's not allowed. Please excuse me. This cough is going to be the death of me today. I absolutely swear to God, it's going to be the death of me today. But, I mean, I guess it's good if it's breaking stuff up. But I don't know if it's actually there or not. Again, I feel for the dude hacking his lungs up <clears throat> in the background. Because I, I feel that. How do I put the guard to sleep? I still don't know how to put him to sleep. Finish making your sedative homes quickly. It's made! It's done! I I have it. It's time to take action, Watson. Oh, I forgot to Go put it with the acid. The <laughs> Smart. What? Smart. Why don't you do it yourself? You're an expert boxer, after all. It's not a matter. Uh, of fighting. schools won the it's county that didn't have any clothes. Oh no, ah, Rose where I live aren't bad, but currently they're rough for work. For Understood. Understood. Well, used, Watson. <clears throat> do something to bring the guard towards me. Good luck, Watson. Uh, sir. Would you be so good as to come here? Shit. You again? I've already told you that there's nothing to see here. Understood? Well, I fluffed that up. That's that's good. Um. 
do something to bring the guard towards me. Good luck, Watson. Uh, sir, would you be so good? Let's as try that again, I guess. <clears throat> There we go. Got him. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Finally. Right. He's down. No, not that way. We must take them by surprise. Let's get to the corridor by these stairs, Holmes. Oh, there are stairs right here. So they can't even give the man word. They just had him growling like a dog. Holmes, what on earth are you doing? No, stop! Put your hands up. Don't try anything clever. You're under arrest. Take them away. Um. So Come, Watson. Let us go. Hello? I, I am, I am, <clears throat> I am confused. But why have we come back to Baker Street? It would have been better to join Baines to interrogate those criminals. No, in the hands of the police, those crooks won't talk and you know it. Mm -hmm. They risk being hanged. I don't understand anything here. That we makes two of us. All our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. Um, we've been to Kensington Garden. We haven't been to Westgate Jail yet. Um. We should probably tell the lady that dude's not Nothing coming back. Here. Okay, are we gonna go to the jail instead? Never mind. Never mind then, chap. <clears throat> here we are at the famous Westgate Prison, one of the oldest and surest in the kingdom. Cool. I've heard that it is soon going to be demolished. Don't you find it strange that it still houses criminals as dangerous as Hans Schielman? There's nothing strange about it, Watson. The name of this prison is linked with numerous failed escape attempts. As long as it stands, the criminals will fear it. Then why tear it down? I mean, unless it is just that old. Good morning, gentlemen. Are you expected? No, but we wish to meet with one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. I'm afraid that at the moment that is impossible. Access to the cells is controlled strictly. You can't go there without permission from the director. Can I meet with the director then? So good as to announce us. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Doctor Watson. The famous Holmes and Watson. What an honour. Okay. My name is Brighton, Frank Brighton. I'm afraid I Hi, can't Frank. announce you. I'm not allowed to leave my post under any circumstances. But I'm sure that the director won't refuse to see you, even without an appointment. Do you see the corridor behind the reception? Follow it to the yeah. secretary's office. You'll find him there. Thank you, Warden Brighton. Oh, one last thing. Hans Schielman received any visits lately? None. And I'm sure, because I've dealt with receiving visitors for several weeks now, okay. I volunteered because it's a calm post to be in. We don't get many visitors and it gives me time to write. Just like you, Dr. Watson. I enjoy literature and the... Po very good. Thank you. That was very impolite, Holmes. That man admires our work. You could have given him... Another time. Let's go and meet the director of the prison. This Holmes is an absolute, like, douche canoe. Like, he really, really is. Alright, um... I don't know which one's the secretary's office. That's the entryway. Uh, cloakroom. Checkroom. 
secretary. Hello, good lady. A <coughs> good morning, miss. Oh, fuck oh, your seat. Uh, excuse me, I dropped off. Good morning, gentlemen. What can I do for you? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We would like to talk to the director. I'll just go and see if he can receive you. Uh, Jenny Patterson. Hi, Jenny. It's good to meet you. Tiredness, pale face, stiffness. I believe that the young lady is expecting a happy event. It would seem so. Oh. Missing is, uh, is expecting... What should we do next, Holmes? I'm trying to look at the desk. If you'd be so kind as to let me. This small rack is for urgent letters to be given immediately to the director. This charming secretary is Miss Jenny Pants. Anything else hot I can tea. learn? Hot tea is good. We, we, we like hot tea. The director's office, Mr. P. Patterson. No need to go in there. Strange. The director and the secretary have the same name. Father and daughter. I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I am Paul Patterson, director of this establishment. You wish to talk to me? I do. I hope this unexpected visit isn't to announce bad news. No, do not worry. We are investigating an affair of the highest importance, one which could potentially affect the security of the kingdom. Therefore, it is imperative that we interview one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. Hans, the rat killer. He's That's been him. here for a long while now, and he's had no contact with the outside. How could he be involved in such an affair? That is what we would like to find out. And you have been commissioned by Scotland Yard? Evidently. Very well. I have complete confidence okay. in you, Mr. Holmes. I will draw up a pass that you should give to Warden James. He actually James didn't say no. Room. I was going to expect, like, hey, himself. let me check. No, Thank apparently you, just the name Keep gets me through. informed of your progress. And if there is anything else, don't hesitate to let me know. See, we senior. shall certainly do so. Miss Patterson, you have the same name as the director. Are you related? Come, Watson. Anyone who might have made the slightest study of anthropology would have noted the similarity. I was right. I was right. Lady and her father. Mr. Holmes is right. I am his daughter, but he doesn't like to talk about it. I think he's afraid of being accused of favoritism. I'm sure it was your qualities alone which secured you this position, Miss. If you must try out your powers of seduction, uh, then what do you about using them on Holmes, the sir. Oh, goodbye, Miss. Goodbye, gentlemen. You don't get to say that, dude. If you want to try your power of seduction, why don't you do it on the freaking dude who killed a bunch of people? Um. Closed. So who do I talk to next? Closed. Um. Can you can you can you tell me anything? Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. <coughs> I'm on yeah, you're helpful. Absolutely. Sorry, but this area oh. is prohibited without a pass. Please leave. I have a pass. I I have a pass. See, see, I have a pass. Ah, you've got a pass for the high security area. It's the door at the end. Go ahead. This information board is almost empty. Strange, in view of the activity in the prison. Surprises it you? is about the signing in book. Okay. My name is Peter James, Chief Warden, and this is Deputy Warden O'Sullivan. 
I Hi, Sullivan. I will find Hans or O'Sullivan. Behind these bars in the basement. Yes, the high security cells are down there. Is this the only access? Yes, there was a second door at the end of the main hall, but it's been blocked up as a security measure. Thank you, Chief Warden. At your service. If you Kay. require further information, Warden Mackenzie will help you. He's at his post in the basement. Tell me about the prisoners, Warden James. We only have a few. As you might be aware, the days of this place are numbered. Therefore, we no longer receive new prisoners. Those who are already here are among the most dangerous in London. We have three at the moment. Hans the Rat Killer and the Flint Brothers. The Flint Brothers? Yes, two rather simple-minded maniacs who detest one another despite their relation. They massacred their parents and decapitated their neighbors. It took more than nine policemen to overpower them. It's just the same sprite. So instead of making two different characters and making them brothers, we're just like, we're gonna make the same dude, same clothes, and then just put them in two different cells, making the same animation movement. Go figure. Uh, any other information? There isn't any information on the notice board. Should there be notes about duties? Yes, there should be, but Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard's assignments for this week yet. It's not like her. Usually, she does it first thing in the morning. Without these instructions, the guard in the basement won't be changed. I would go and get them, but I don't want the director to catch me there. He's very strict. He doesn't like us wandering around when we're on duty. And it will get his daughter in trouble. He's not being very pleasant with her at the moment. Oh. I don't want to make things worse. How does not having the information about guard duty stop you from ensuring the watch in the basement? Because of the system of opening the doors, Mr. Holmes. As you can see, they are equipped with a mechanical timer which answers to a code. When the timer stops, that is to say, at the end of each watch, the doors block automatically and the code is reset. It is therefore impossible to open the doors without the new code. And who has the code? Only the guard who takes the new watch. He's the only one who can open the envelope that it's kept in. He okay. learns it by heart <clears throat> and destroys the message. Very clever. But let's look at the limits of this procedure. One false note and the system falls apart. Indeed. Mr. Holmes, I am a huge admirer of yours. So do we I need to go back and talk to Jenny really quick? Successes with the greatest interest. What enthusiasm. Have you ever thought of a career in the police force? Have I thought about it? It's my dream. I'm going to try my chance once this establishment closes down. I'm studying Good for hard you. the examination to get into police school. Good for you. See you later, Mr. Holmes. Okay, do I need to go back and talk to Jenny then? I'll be back. I'm, I'm going to go talk to Jenny again. So I think it would be helpful to, to, to know why... The things haven't been posted. Anything else, gentlemen? Okay, apparently not. Alright, well, never mind that. Excuse me. Alright, well, uh, I guess we just go downstairs then. <clears throat> At least we're gonna, we're gonna try. Alright. Ooh. It is the guard's guest book. Perhaps for distinguished guests. Okay. The guards will spend long hours here. Yep, yeah, you're playing cards anyway. This device must be the alarm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go. Uh, my controller died. Yeah, I block off my day, so I have breaks. So I'm gonna start early. Ig. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry your controller died though. It's never fun. Here's the famous high security area. Warden Mackenzie, at your service, sir. Hi, Mackenzie. Good morning, Warden. I have a pass which allows me to speak with prisoner Hunts. Very well. It is the cell at the end to your left. 
I'd advise you to walk in the middle of the corridor. Yeah, lest I be touched by anybody else down here. Corridor on the left. Hi, dude. <clears throat> Let's talk. Hans Schielman, I require some information from you. So, who do we have here? The celebrated Sherlock Holmes himself. Do you know that for all the time I have spent rotting in here, you are my first and only visitor? I think this is cause for celebration. A confrontation between two geniuses. Two I was expecting a life. lower, maybe a little I'm deeper voice. Not, as great a chemist not as you are, Mr. Daffy Duck doing I Albert Einstein. You never were. No, it was not Daffy Duck. Plucky Duck. Plucky Duck. But you see, Plucky Duck doing you are that. Away your days in here, it appears that someone on the outside is at the point of surpassing you, if that is not already the case. Yes, I heard about that. A chemical poison. That How have you heard about it, dude? Flesh and provokes hysteria. I recognize talent. Voice give me your pa Yes. But it's only a matter of time before I win back my love. A, a high pitched uh, serpentious, but yes. What can you tell me? That depends on what you can bring to me. Dude, if if if, if we could get Alex Brightman to voice like some video game characters. Okay, see, now, now I'm on this, now, I want a husband hotel video game. Where we have to, we have to build the hotel, and like, make deals with Alistair, and try to redeem as many people in hell as we can. While working with, with... You know, like serpentious and like trying to like fast track. I'd be, I'd be down with that. I'd be, I'd be down with that. In a heartbeat. Also, Busy Pop, when are we gonna get our, our season two? Because Dear Blitzy told us it was gonna be sometime March or April, and we're already halfway through March. Also, please don't mind me. I'm shaking my cup up to keep the chocolate mixed up. It's not really hot anymore, but it's still good. Oh, and it has been. Yes! Listen. If they did, like, a one-time... I, I just want to say one-time, because I don't think that would be great. Because everybody would be wanting to go. But, like, yes. take Take the cast... And like, cause freaking Erica, who voices Charlie, said at GalaxyCon last weekend, I think is when it was, cause they did a, a Hasbun Hotel panel. She wants to do live Hasbun Hotel concerts like the Animaniacs cast do with theirs. And like they want to go perform live across country with the orchestra playing their songs and then them just singing. Fuck yes. I mean, pretty much. Pretty much. The only one who's not really, like, kind of riding the Hasbun Hotel train right now is Jeremy Jordan, who plays Lucifer. Because when somebody asked him about it, because they're all, like, they're talking about him in Newsies and the Death Note musical. But they're like, people are mad that we're not asking you about your role as Lucifer on Hasbun Hotel. And the dude's like, it was literally like one day of recording back in 2020. So, like, I don't think he even really considers it. Which, like, he should. Because I think he's going to get so much more mileage out of this, especially with season two coming up. I don't think they're going to look to, like, change voice actors at all. Unless there is something that literally stops him from being able to record. So I'm just saying, Jeremy Jordan, you might want to get a little bit more on the bandwagon.
Because we're just dying to find out who you are. More than anything. Just saying. Um, stop reading my mind. Uh, or late this year, early next year. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, for, for has been, we're looking another probably year and a half, two years. I know they're already recording. But that's that's all I know as of right now. So, um, there is that. Um, I've heard from Amir Talal, who plays Alistair, that him and Charlie have a song together. And he's like, it's been stuck in my head and I wish you guys could hear it. Which I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for an Alistair-Charlie duet. Um... And then, yeah, we're supposed to be getting a hell of a boss sometime in the next, like, month, month and a half. Oh, he's a little perfect. Gotcha. Gotcha, want? gotcha. <laughs> Do you know why I am treated so harshly? For my meals, I am given nothing but a hunk of bread. And even then, not just any sort. The Get to the point. Never interrupt me! <laughs> Where was I? Dude, just oh, yes. jumped like eight the feet bread. off the ground. Did you know that with a little rye yeast, a pinch of moss, certain cockroach secretions, Month and a half just third. enough light and damped with a few yeah, other Yeah, me and Mark, Brandon Rogers was like, it's going to be out like I March or April. We've already watched the first episode. The start here. Like back in January. <laughs> Unfortunately, a little something was omitted, which would have made the results fatal. Instead, it merely caused acute attacks of stress and powerful hallucinations. Even so, I got a great laugh out of watching them cry like babies. I'm not going to help you poison the staff, dude. Most primitive fears materializing before them. Like, just saying. I'm not going to. You are a monster, Mr. Shieldman. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. But of course it was! You others, you ordinary, narrow-minded people. You are afraid of anything that you cannot comprehend. You call me a monster. Also, did anybody else notice that like, Watson's eyes were like bulging out of his head? Just the slightest fraction of my genius. If by monster you mean someone who is nothing like you. <laughs> if I meant someone who is nothing like me, I would call you unique. Not a monster. What do you need? There is a very high difference. Just something to write with. You see my brain yeah. races like an engine with too many thoughts. I see them crackle and explode into thousands of formulae right in front of me. What a torture not to be able to write them down. What a hell to see them vanish just as Dude, if I bring you a pen, you're going to tear it apart and you can use it as a weapon. something that I can write with. That's all. That seems an easy enough request to fulfill. At least... I don't want a vulgar inkwell and a pigeon's feather. No, I need material fit. I'm not giving you an ink pen, dude. I want my no. ink pen. Bring it to me, and I will be happy to pass on to you a little of my knowledge of modern chemistry. Where is it? It was confiscated upon my arrival here. I suppose it might be in my locker, mm. in the locker room. Leave me now. And don't come back without my ink pen. See you soon, Mr. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. That that worries me. Um Warden Mackenzie, at your service, sir. Okay. Um. Let's go see if we can find this pen, even though I really don't want to go find this pen. I guess we have to go find a pen. So where is the locker room? Can you tell me where I might find the locker room? In the corridor that leads to the director's office. That's where the prisoner's civilian stuff is held. But seeing the length of their sentences, they've little chance of ever getting it back. 
Okay. Can you open the locker door for us? We would like to inspect Shieldman's personal items. No, Mr. Holmes. I'm not responsible for that. You will find the keys in the secretary's office. All right. See you later. Uh, let's go back and talk to Jenny, shall we? The music's really off putting. I will say that. The music is really, really off putting. Uh, where might I find the key? Miss, may we borrow the keys to the locker room? You will need authorization from the director to open that door. If you wait a moment, then I will inform him. We will wait, thank you. Hi, Dave. Anything new, Mr. Holmes? Is your investigation Yeah, he's going to tell us something if I gave him a pen. Mr. Holmes, have you been able to get what you wanted from our lodger? Not yet. We must first cast light upon a crucial point, and for that we require your help. Uh, did you see, like, Watson go, like, the, the what? We need to examine Shieldman's civilian clothing. Very well, but be extremely careful. What do you mean? In that madman's compartment, you will find a strange little coded case which refused point blank to open when he was incarcerated. We did try to force it, but without success. Didn't you ask the experts? Of course we did. Experts from Scotland Yard came to examine it, where they came to the conclusion that it's better... Cool, let me guess, there's poison in it. it just, just a I wild see. guess. They were afraid that some poison or other might escape if it was opened. Exactly. Bear in mind that this man yep. is a lethal genius. A master poison, and that his poisons are never ordinary. Noticed. And Here's noted. The the room. I give you the authorization to open it. Good. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Miss Patterson, the guards are still waiting for you to put up the duty list. Do it as soon as possible. Without it, the changing of the guard cannot take place. Or had you forgotten? <laughs> Why are you crying? Dry your tears, miss. I'm certain that your father didn't mean to hurt you. Mr. Watson, I can't put up the duty list. When he finds out, he'll be furious. Why can't you? It's in my locker, in the cloakroom, and I've lost the key. Your aunt. Say no more, Holmes. As you keep repeating, time is against us. Let's go and look at the things in the rat killer's locker. Dude, we can literally take two seconds to go and look for the key. Where's a cloakroom? That's a check room. Where's the cloakroom? Cloakroom. The locker room. This is where the prisoners' things are kept. Yeah, if you let me in. Oh my god. Wrong button. Can I get in here now? Stuff. Closed. Okay, even with keys, it doesn't work. Alright, fair. All right. Okay. Here is the locker of our friend, Hans, the mad scientist. Okay. Oh, what a jumble. Blotting paper. A paper knife. This solid box must hold a precious object. Oh, I'm worried about this as well. As soon as the catastrophe came to be known, the alarm from mouth to mouth was blown. And the city rang out all over the town. Good heavens, the Tay Bridge is blown down. 
and a passenger train from Edinburgh, which filled all the people's hearts with sorrow and made them for to turn pale, because none of the passengers were saved to tell the tale how the disaster happened on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. William Topaz McGonagall. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Blotting paper. Blotting paper. So you said. Okay, so what is this then? Like, I'm confused. Because it looks like I see, like, music notes on some of the P's, and then the other P's are, like, full open. I wonder if I have to, like, follow... Because, like, some of these are a little more... Like, A... A, P... A, A, L, A. Like, some of these are more. Blotting paper. Blotting paper. Which is why I blotted it. Nothing of interest here. Blotting paper. Which I took. Right? Like, this makes no sense. Of interest here. Well, I want there to be something of interest Nothing there. Of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Oh come on, dude. Nothing of interest here. Yeah, because you can see some of the letters are a little darker. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of it. Nothing of interest. Oh come Nothing on, dude. Nothing of it. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. A poem in Hans's handwriting. Okay. A poem in Han You've already said that. Blotting. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I Shush. Can't. No, I can't do that. No, it is unnecessary. No, I can't. 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 Shush. No, I can't do that. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Shush, dude. No, 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 I can't do that. Simple coincidence. C A B R. Uh, C A B R. Blotting paper. You already said that. <laughs> no, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I, no, I, no. I, Yet, shush. Nay, 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 I, 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 I,
No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Come on. I thought you were feeling one like right here. Come on. Night, 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 Really? Nothing else? C A B R H? C A B R H? Right? There's something interesting here. There's something interesting here. There's something interesting here. No kidding. There's got to be more that I'm missing. There has to be more that I'm missing. So it doesn't make sense otherwise. No, I can't do that. No, I, no, I can't do that. 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 Yes, you no, can. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. <clears throat> Nothing of interest here. Oh, come on, really? And that's supposed to be H C A B R. H C A. R? No. I missed the letter. Wait, what? H C A B R. I don't think I missed anything, did I? What can you do? That's what I'm wondering. No, it is unnecessary. No, it is unnecessary. No, it is unnecessary. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. I'm not saying I can't do that, but I'm hearing Nike. Uh, I, uh, Nike can't do that. No, I can't do that. Nike can't do that. No, I can't do that. I don't know who Nike is. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Wait, do you want to tell me who no, Nike is? There, Sherlock. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Nothing of interest here. There is something interesting here. There is something interesting here. No kidding. A poem. A poem. You already said that. Go away. Right then, there's gotta be like one or two more. Like there has to be, right? No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Dude, I just. No, I can't there we go. No, 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 no. H C A B R S. Or if we go like this, is it C A B R H S? C uh, B R. H S Perfect. Ha! Got it. What is written on that note, Holmes? Later, Watson, later. We can get his pen. His pen. That actually worries me a little bit. I am straight up not gonna lie. Um, 
I'm a little concerned. I'm not gonna lie. What a bunch of incompetence. Oh, if I was as unprofessional as that, there would be murderers running all over the town. What's the matter? Are you a patient of Dr. Watson? Very amusing. I was going on about the dry cleaners in Westgate Street. I've just delivered my ceremonial uniform in the middle of my duty. And I've told them a thousand times not to bring it until after six in the evening. A ceremonial uniform? You've been promoted? No, and that's not about to happen. No, I've been invited to a wedding. I, I mean, I hope to be. I'm in trouble. If the director sees that I've left my post, I'll be sacked without pay. Give it to me, Warden Brighton. I'll take care of it for you. Really? Thanks a lot. Here's the key to the cloakroom and that of my locker. I'm really oh, grateful. Oh, well, that gets us in there. What have you got in mind, Holmes? You You're don't know Bill? Bill time, Nye, the science guy. No, Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Yeah. Or if you're anything like uh, our, our, our dear science, it's bullet, 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 the science guy. Closed. Oh, because I don't have the, oh my god, wrong button every time. There we go. That means that memory's high, guy. Okay. Yep. It's 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 the truth. It's all it's all about the science. It's all it's all it is. We're okay. But I do wish I could heat up what's left of my hot chocolate. That'd be awesome. Okay, I now need... Uh... I need your... Uh, your... Very... Sorry, chat, two seconds. I hope I remember which way to turn the mic back on. Brighton must have an upset stomach caused by stress. Rolly TVs in the gym. The name on the key is Jenny Patterson. That is interesting. Oh, are the two. Oh. Oh. Well, I just put two and two together. I just put two and two together. My okay, so now we need. Oh my god, wrong button. So we now need Jenny's locker. There it is. Let us examine Miss Patterson's locker. There we are. The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. Incredible. Is Jenny hiding something? Um. I'm confused. Most sincere and effusive. Okay, now that goes there. I 
I'm very confused. Well, this makes no sense at all. Let's move all the red out of the way for a minute. And let's deal with the green. Because that would make sense, yes? I think. Okay, it's all the green connected. do that. There we go. It's really there we go. Little See, I, I, I may be really dumb, but I can be smart. What should we do? We can get Shush. I'm currently looking at this. Letter from Breton. My Jenny, let's get married. Never mind the consequences. Your father will have to accept the fact that we are in love. Think about the baby and don't forget that. I love you, 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 I love you. And I've written you a poem. Jenny Patterson, your heart pounds, my ways a ton, our love has no bounds, it just goes on and on. It was uh, I was inspired by the great Chinese poets to write it. Be courageous, my honey bun, you're Frankie. Aww. A letter from Brighton to Jenny. They're adorable. Barely literate. Apparently, Jenny is carrying Brighton's child. And it seems that Jenny's father... Does two and two make fish? Yes. Because remember, it's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Uh, Jenny Patterson, Frank Brighton. A single heart with two souls in eternal love. A locket sealing the That's relation cute. between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly, this boy is not a great poet. Uh, there we go. Service sheet. Basement guard, Warden O'Sullivan. Reception, Warren Brighton. On call in the guards room, Warren McKenzie. Coordination, Chief uh, Warden James. Here is the famous <clears throat> guard duty go. list. Yes, I am SMRT. Alright. Do I need to go talk to Jenny first? Maybe I should go talk to Jenny first. That's good. I don't care about that. Let me in the door. Hans can wait a few minutes. I, I, I'm not too concerned. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Oh, thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Harris. We have found... Oh, oh never mind. You don't want to be told anything else. Go beans. Nyam. 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 Can I talk to you? <clears throat> Sorry, sirs. Really? Rude. Uh, mm. Oh, do I need to talk to you instead? Sorry, Mr. Rome, you can't go into the basement for the moment. For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. You must enter a new security code. Do it, then. Miss Patterson <clears throat> hasn't put up a guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorized to take note of the new... Well, I have the list. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to. And I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration. I mean, center. fair. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. We only need to sound it to unblock, but... You see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. There you have it. We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. Good. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. 
can see. O'Sullivan, Hugh takes over from Mackenzie. Take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. Thank you. Ah, okay. Mr. Holmes, could I ask you for a favour? Please do. I think I can say on behalf of all the staff that we would... To write something in the guest book, dear write God, do not ask this man to do that. With pleasure, O'Sullivan. Don't write anything schmarmy, please. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished. Yeah. I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. So where is everybody else going then? Understand, I have to like the three prisoners you have in this no place? Sleep isn't a priority at the moment. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent, and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes? You're being Recommend too nice all of a Scotland sudden. Yard. I don't trust this BS. Are you quite serious? Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper? The one on your desk. A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes. A thousand thanks. It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. Half. Can I go downstairs now? Chief. I'm assuming that answer is a yes. Yes, I can. Cool. No, 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 no. Let me down the freaking stairs. Warden? You didn't say anything I needed you to. Alright. I wish I could have had a chance to look at Hans Pen before I'm just plainly giving it to him because now I'm concerned that he's just going to use it to get out and like pick the lock. Well. You have what you wanted. Your precious pen. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. I am not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Are you hiding something? That is enough, Schumann. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine. At this moment, the poison which so interests you isn't finished yet. It's really? Is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired results. What is the end result? Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course, but the creator's problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. Which means the poison he's made isn't mean? a long-acting poison. poison. It's a very quick... ...using rare, but very volatile, short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to yeah. use small okay. quantities. See, I said I paid attention in science class in school. Oh, it's fine. Conceiving such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions that a substance of this type requires, well, that would need a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. 
Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to what? be very short. I am quite concerned now. Holmes, it sounds to me as though this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. I didn't get to ask him any more questions. So, the the compound being used here is short acting, which means it doesn't take any amount of time. So that's why it's happening quickly. So yeah, I'm I'm getting like. I can't say rabies at this point because I've been a little against it, but. It is out of the question that your bastard is named Patterson. Very well. You refuse to reveal the father to me. Well, then go and join him. I'm not stopping you. I. I can't. Hmm. Director, you will have to postpone this family reunion. We believe that a serious scheme is afoot. We must act without delay. You're not thinking of... Yes. Shieldman's words leave no room for doubt. It seems that he is planning an escape attempt. We strongly advise you to search his cell. Do you really believe that he's hiding something? Because I must make an official report. And yeah, he has his pen. For doing a search. Just Director, saying. If this prison is still in operation, it is solely because of its reputation. Think of the consequences of an escape. It yeah. will be closed at once. And what post do you imagine would be offered to the person deemed responsible? You're right. No one will escape there from we West go. Gates under Patterson. Honestly, I want him to be, I, I, I want him to get the school too. I do. I, I, I want this boy to succeed. Chief Warden James reporting. The search of prisoner Hans Shillman's cell has been carried out. No suspicious items were found. Thank you, Chief James. I feel better now. Without wishing to offend you, Mr. Holmes, I am glad that you were mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. Which What's is? That? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She's waiting for you in her office. This, Watson. How did you know? Wait for me in the guards' room. I won't be long. Okay. <clears throat> what an extraordinary gentleman that Sherlock Holmes is. You must have had lots of adventures with him. Oh, yes. Dozens. Oh, he was infallible. But there wasn't anything out of the way in the rat killer's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit. Warden Brighton, in my office immediately. That's an order. The director seems furious. Yes. It must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ah, help! Ah, ah, ah. You... Did you hear that? Yes, that's not normal. I've never heard Ben shout like that. But why does no Sullivan sound the alarm? Follow me, Mackenzie. Let's go and have a look. I'll come with you. No, Dr. Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait for me here. Very well. The grill is blocked, Chief. We've been locked in. And that smoke, it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan, can you hear us? Sully, are you alive? Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Sound the alarm in the guard's room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. Oh, Sullivan might be in danger. It doesn't work. Uh, uh, um. <clears throat> what alarm where? What alarm where? What alarm where? There is nothing interesting here. <clears throat> the alarm's blocked, so why can't I do anything with it? I'm, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Locked. Hey, what are you 
away! It's impossible. It's been damaged. I'll run and warn the director. No, Doctor. Our priority is to save O'Sullivan. Go ahead through the visitor's corridor and see if he answers your call. Very well. Take the keys. They're in our room. Okay, where are the keys? 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 Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now. O'Sullivan, can you hear me? O'Sullivan, answer me. Yes, I'm here. Quick, get me out of here. The flints have escaped and they are fighting like dogs. That dog. is... It's, <clears throat> it's a catastrophe. I'm not doing that. That's fucking... That's, that's, that's dude. That is dude. I know better. Nope, 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 nope. The door is locked. And I can hear shouting and crying. We're in the middle of some family drama, so there's no chance of them hearing me. Son of a... It's gonna go well. No. I have the keys. I have the keys! Oh my god. Give me the keys. It doesn't work. Useless. This door is blocked by the timer, but not the one below. Give me the keys, quickly! That's... Dude, I'm not stupid. I'm not giving you the keys, man. We must get old Sullivan. Yeah, but that's not him. Quick, Doctor Watt. Literally, it didn't work. <clears throat> what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you what the, the fluff? Fine. I've got the keys, Doctor. Thank you. Follow me, Watson. We must repair the alarm. Finally, there you are, Holmes. Dude, shit fucked up while you were gone, man. Follow me. I'm going to turn on the system. Watson, you make sure of the contact. I hope that this isn't dangerous. Are you kidding me? Oh my What am I supposed to do here? The fluff nugget is this. Hi, feline, and feline. Hi, Vic and Vic. How, how we doing? How we doing? What am I doing here? <coughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm very confused. I don't know.
don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Brain took a vacation. All the time. All the time. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> Um... Uh, I already did that. I went to the Thames. Hang on, I'm trying to find this so I can look it up. Because I'm very confused what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um... <clears throat> we did that, we did that. How do I do the puzzle, though? You are not helpful. <clears throat> um, let's see, alarm. We're just gonna look it up. Alarm puzzle. There we go. Um, no, 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 no. Alarm, alarm, alarm. Grab the keys. Go down. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Uh, click on a device and a riddle begins. What? You have to move a metal arrow from the bottom of the screen to the center or gap between the two halves of the circle. Okay. On the way to pass metal plates and orbiting bars, hitting them takes you back to the beginning. Okay. It works. Perfect. It's open. Let's go down. Be careful. From what your colleague said, the flint. I am so confused now. We that made no sense. Sort of situation. And we're armed. <coughs> Come and help us. Anything else makes sense with that? Because like it didn't. It, it, circular fog. It was circular fogger, apparently. Everything is back to normal. Thank you for your help, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. But where is El Sullivan? He's no longer here. He must have gone out for the visitor's dinner. Yes, and he must be pleased to have gotten out of the basement. Good. We must now check all the cells. It's a procedure in case of an alarm. We'll come and help you. You are evidently fond of wasting time, my dear fellow. Rejoin me at the reception when you've finished. I'm betting he's gonna be down here in dude's cell. The, the grate is open. This is alarming. He's fine where he is, under the cover, still. How can he sleep with all this noise? I'll admit it's that's not, not him. Normal. Perhaps the smoke has poisoned him. I had better take a look. Be careful, Doctor. He is dangerous. <clears throat> Sullivan, it's impossible. He was with us only a few moments ago. Or else, or else it wasn't old Sullivan. My God, he's escaped. The rat killer has escaped. Yep. <clears throat> oh, hell's bells. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm I'm mad at you. The door is locked. <clears throat> really? Get over yourselves because the rat killer has escaped. Ah, Fine. Holmes, there you are. 
Franz has escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite the contrary. Follow me. Excuse me. Say Why what? Why the devil have you brought me behind the prison? We have an appointment, Watson. With who? With what who? What we do next, Holmes? I'm assuming Hans, who's standing right in there. Look who is waiting for us. Shield! Oh, I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down. He's harmless. Harmless? But, but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Holmes, you've made me an accomplice in this escape. You owe me some explanation. Yeah! And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe place. I won't be long, but I must go alone. I'll Good rejoin boy. you later. Just give me your next destination. Very well. I suppose you know what you're doing. No, he doesn't. Doubt it. No, he doesn't. Take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find you? I think it would be better to go back to Baker Street. All right. I will join you I there. am so... I am so lost. Holmes' note regarding the way that he helped Hans to escape from the prison are so extraordinary. I will further transcribe word for word the conversation we had regarding this matter. I felt the impatient my friend's look. However, he delayed relaying to me the details of his incredible achievement. He began by telling me about Hans' fountain pen. This is what he said. The key to the escape was actually Hans Schillman's fountain pen. I discovered a note inside Schillman's locker. I can quote it to you from memory. Whoever is smart enough to open this case should know that a couple of drops of my masterpiece are mixed together with the ink inside this pen's reservoir. <clears throat> if you are reading this, note it means I am in a tight spot, so understand my special ink will temporarily destroy the will of anyone it touches. Therefore, you have a few precious seconds during which you can shape the subject's will. If you recognize my genius, use this knowledge to get me out of the embarrassing situation I am undoubtedly in. Shulman left the instrument for his future escape inside a case secured by a devious combination. That way he could ensure that none of the prison staff would find it other than a well-informed friend. Understanding this, I decided to play along with him but with a double game of my own. I would help him escape, but I would also keep him under control by using his own creation on him. I allowed Shulman to commence the game by giving him his pen, and I started my advance, my pawns. My first move was to persuade the director it was necessary to search the cell. I therefore passed the ball into Shulman's court by giving him the opportunity with Warden James. He did not waste it. He coated the bars of the cell with the poison ink, and Warden James, whose hands were contaminated, was under his control for a few seconds. He discreetly and quite simply ordered James to give him the keys. The ball was back in my court. I now had to find a way of neutralizing Warden O'Sullivan, who was to be the basement guard, as we discovered when we found Miss Patterson's duty sheet. I must admit, the young Warden helped me enormously by asking me to sign the visitor's book. Absorbed in the tale, I went over the chronology of the events in my mind. I remarked that Holmes had already signed the visitor's book before giving Shulman the pen. He replied in the most annoyed tone. Exactly. I anticipated it. And I was, and it was because of that I managed to get a step ahead of my game with Shulman. I was leading the race all the while he believed the other way around. Shulman did not suspect I had already used his poison and thought O'Sullivan being asleep was a godsend. He therefore was not suspicious about the letter of reference he found inside the warden's pocket. Holmes then returned to the point at which he had broken from the tale to point out to me the lack of pertinence to my remark. That was it? <laughs> so, yeah, he is a dumbass. Sorry to men, but in this case, he is one. Oh, so all that for nothing. Oh, they didn't find anything. Sherlock Holmes isn't a nice man, is he? No, he's not. I can now. Yeah. I found. When did you find, dude? Don't do that. We don't like him, but you shouldn't hit him like that. Give that back. It's only a doll. This is Sherlock Holmes's attic. 
All this must have belonged to him. I want to know what happens next. Keep reading. This was Sherlock's attic? Three Are we living at, at Baker dead. Street now? The poor nephew is dead, but Baines has the bishop's murderers. The only one left is the rat killer. Have you questioned him? No. May I ask when you're going to do it? When I have found him. What? You're not trying to tell me that he's escaped again? Yes, but this time it's not your fault, nor mine for that matter. You've been using me, Holmes. I unwittingly aided one of the most dangerous criminals in the kingdom to escape. So please tell me why. An Seriously. explanation would be futile. It would only lead to further pointless questions. But Dude, you, you have made me accessory to an escape on the deadliest man in the UK. Get Hans Schielman for a moment, Watson. Just concentrate on the Blech. fact that the bishop is on the chessboard. In any case, the news has spread like wildfire. Look at the headlines. All the papers are talking about it. And the Globe Explorer, their editors must be jumping for joy. Let the dogs bark with the pack, Watson. But how could Farley be so well informed? Look, he also mentions our visit to the opium den. And in great detail. How did he know? Let me see. Contrary to what you might think, Watson, I do not consider that all of our trails have led to dead ends. We're simply Farley. missing a common denominator, something that links them together. And our journalist's mystery informer might just be that missing link. Should we attempt to uncover his identity? It is essential that we do so. Let us examine the map. We must talk to Mr. Farley. All right. <coughs> Let's do that then, shall we? Globe Explorer. Oh, hey, we have that continued. Uh, do not put the cart before the horse, Watson. Do let me continue. So by merely touching the fresh ink upon the page in the visitor's book, O'Sullivan was under my control. I suggested a state of advanced drowsiness, but ordered him not to do anything immediately. <clears throat> Just sufficient for him to be unable to resist a siesta during the changing of guard. Or, uh, during guard duty. Later, after the changing of guards, Shillman used the keys to let himself out of the cell. He hit the sleeping with Sullivan over the head and exchanged his prison uniform for that of the wardens. He then created a smoke screen by using the ingredients I had given to him. Sugar from Mr. Miss Patterson's tea tray, Brian's bar car bleh, 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 bar carbonate of soda, potassium nitrate from the guards room and sulfur from a few matches he used the keys again to free the front flint brothers the two ruffians left at each other's throats and he made the very dickens of a noise he had a high uh, oh my god i can't english he had the diversion he needed to leave the high security area and that is the moment where you entered the game watson thinking that you were helping with sullivan you allowed hans to open the corridors and x bars by throwing him the keys on my side i opened the second lot by turning the alarm on again in light of Holmes' explanation, I began to see my actions during this episode from quite another angle. I was troubled by the way he had used me without my having any idea at the time of the duplicity of my actions. I interrupted his monologue to refer to the guards who had not realized what was happening, and who were occupied with restraining the Flint brothers. Exactly, Holmes continued. So there were now only one obstacle in front of Shieldman, Warden Brighton at the reception desk. <clears throat> I interrupted him again, but it was the director who summoned him so insistently, Holmes. You won't have me believe he was an accomplice in this escape. Of course not. I provoked the director's rage toward Brighton. I was too impatient. I could not uh, stop myself from asking how. I discovered Jenny and Brighton were lovers. I also knew the director did not have any idea about the affair, and he was surely fall into a foul rage to be found out. I asked him if that was the reason why Miss Patterson had been summoned. Yes, she knew I had opened her locket to find the guard duty list, and so she knew I was aware of the affair with Brighton. She wanted to make sure I would not say anything. I pointed out that it had been rather unfeeling on his part to have told the director everything, reminding him of his promise to this young woman. He denied it in a somewhat hypocritical manner. I did not say anything. I simply left the lover's letters inside the urgent correspondent box in the secretary's office, knowing they would be delivered to him in a few minutes, thereby provoking his anger. Uh, there we go. Uh, the director shouted at Brighton, who rushed off to the office. Schumann now had nothing to stand between him and the front door. Another question left in my mind, and not the least important one. Why didn't he simply run away when he was outside? But why did he wait? I was not disappointed by my friend's answer. It was evident, my dear Watson. If he did not run away, then he only thinks... 
It was only they said that aforementioned step ahead, which I told you. It gave me enough time to write the letter of recommendation for O'Sullivan with a poison pen. It was in the pocket of the uniform, and Shillman couldn't resist reading it when he found it. What was written in the letter? Not very much, just congratulations on your escape. Wait for me here. I gave it to him, and that is how the first and only escape from the most inviolable prison in the kingdom came to pass. A scenario which, without doubt, will prove to be the focus of police college studies for a long time to come as one of the most extraordinary escapes in the history of modern prisons. <coughs> Good lord. Alright. September 1898 Globe Explorer newspaper. Good lord. Incredible escape from Westgate Prison. Read all about it. Hans Schumann, the famous rat killer, imprisoned in Westgate for murder, has achieved one of the most spectacular escapes in British history. The escape took place without violence or bloodshed, and is extraordinary in that the prison guards did not observe anything untoward. Indeed, it was someone entirely unconnected with the person who noticed the dangerous criminal was missing. That person is none other than Dr. John Watson. Yes, dear readers, you read that corrector. Corrector? Correctly. Dr. Watson, the friend and companion of the Baker Street detective Sherlock Holmes. According to the prison director, Mr. Holmes visited Westgate in order to interrogate Hans Schumann, as regards what exactly still remains a mystery. But considering the fact Schumann could not have possibly escaped without outside assistance, it is quite easy to guess at the true reason for Holmes's visit to the Westgate fortress. It is now up to the police to conclude the current investigation. They are decidedly very busy. Yesterday morning, Inspector Baines declared that two suspects were being held in relation to the murder of the unfortunate Bishop of Knightsbridge. The two men were arrested in an opium den in Whitechapel. An interrogation of the establishment's staff, if not proving anything concrete regarding the identity of the two criminals, nevertheless revealed that Sherlock Holmes was also present. Indeed, the director of the establishment, Mr. Chen Cha Hu, accuses the staff of attacking a member of his staff as a guard was later found incapacitated with a syringe protruding from his arm. According to the clinic where the man was swiftly taken, he had been on the receiving end of a terribly dangerous anesthetic. Mr. Chen affirmed that at the time of the attack, apart from his clients, only Sherlock Holmes and his friend Dr. Watson would have had the opportunity to carry out the crime. Still, according to Mr. Chen, the aggression took place in order to gain access to the room occupied by the criminals. So what was Mr. Holmes doing in the opium den? Apparently, he has knowledge that the Knight of Bishop of Knightsbridge killers were there. Why did he not alert the authorities? Why act alone? Why is that the guard? You may be sure, dear reader, our investigations have only just begun. I control Sherlock. I better damn well control Sherlock right now. Find Farley's office on the map. Oh, map. All right. To a newspaper office we go. Here we are at Farley's office. One cannot say that ethics play a very large role in his life. Look at the headlines pinned to the walls like trophies of bad taste. Perhaps we will finally begin to understand the reasons for his persistence in tarnishing your reputation. Redaction. Perhaps. I mean, honestly, if you were, like putting up some really big headlines I'd probably pin them to my office walls too a press card Osmond Farley it's his overcoat cigarettes an ordinary inexpensive brand okay Coffee. It's still hot. Okay, which means it was just made. What do you? Th I wanted to go in here. This door is locked. Is Farley afraid of being interrupted suddenly? I must go out for a while, Miss Jean. I won't be long. Ask my appointments to wait, and send this message as a matter of urgency. Mr. Osmond Farley, I presume. Messrs. Holmes and Watson. What a surprise. What Messers? What is so surprising about being Messers. visited by the target? You could have just said, Sirs. I never slander. I inform. You will have to accept the consequences of being
these articles, Mr. Farley. Those words sound like a threat, Mr. Holmes. I never threaten. I merely warn. You don't frighten sure me, Mr. Holmes. Sure you do, dude. I know all of your little secrets. Do you? Soon all of London will find out what really hides behind the facade of the impeccable detective. Thanks to my work, the whole world will discover the true Sherlock Holmes. Gentlemen, I don't wish you a good day. What well, a bore. fluffy you, to the dude. Point of refusing to shake our hands, which means that we can avoid having to wash them. Did you notice the crumbs on his jacket? He had just finished eating, and his hands will be covered in grease, the same as his mouth. Slovenly habits. That's quite disgusting, Holmes. Do not be deceived, Watson. The workmanship in those tailor-made clothes indicate that he is a man who takes pride in his appearance. If Farley has left without brushing off his jacket or washing <coughs> his hands, then it is because he spotted our approach and wished to avoid us at all costs. But why? We will find out by searching his office. The secretary will stop you. Please reassure me, Holmes, you don't intend upon knocking her out? Only if we exhaust every other viable alternative. We I don't want to talk to you. The secretary is occupied in sending a telegram via their electric telegraph. Farley asked that she should do so before he left. We must find a way of interrupting the transmission, which will oblige her to go to the telegraph office in Kensington. It will take her some time to get there. And if we add on the time it takes to send the telegram and then return here, we should have ample time to search the office without being disturbed. I suppose it's unnecessary mm -hmm. to point out the illegality of this search? I'm afraid so. Okay. This hanger has a large iron hook. Okay. We must find a way of getting into the office. Okay. This is an electric box. Interesting. I need a tool to remove the lid. Uh, which would be our hair, right? I can hear an electrical humming. The secretary is using the electricity supplied by this switch. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Um. We just have to move a couple things so things aren't quite connected, right? Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Let us see if I can cause a short but circuit. I did oh do I have to connect the two, I'm guessing? Um Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Um. I'm guessing I have to connect all these. There we are. There we go. Simplicity itself. Oh, that's just too bad. Get out quickly, Watson. I'm going to hide here. The way is clear. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Let's go, Watson. Freedom of the press, indeed. The secretary has just changed the typewriter ribbon. There are smudges of dark blue ink. Okay. A page of this notebook has been torn out. We can only see the title in shorthand and today's date. It's a message that the secretary must send urgently. I'm going to recopy it. You can read shorthand. You never cease to amaze me. Were you a secretary before becoming the great shorthand shirt? is perhaps, rough to read. But no, a man must have his secrets. 
Notes on all notes on the investigation into Sherlock Holmes to all his colleagues after the visit from not helpful. A makeup case with a good brush. Oh. I must look more attentively. I must look more attentively. I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. Yeah, what do you think I'm trying to do here, man? I must look more attentively. I must look more attentively. I can make out the marks. I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. Yeah, this. I must look more attentively. I must look more attentively. Fine, we'll look at something else. How about that? The ribbon is missing from this machine. Oh, I know what I know what I need. I know what I need. I know what I need. The secretary has just changed. Here is Farley's. Nothing special, but I want the. I need the ink. Right? The ribbon is Yes, because she just changed it. You just told me this. This armchair is out of place. Okay, piece of paper. I will call on you this morning and destroy this letter. Receive it. Urgently, your revelations regarding our man's true schemes are incredibly surprised. A Machiavellianism of the sort. This paper only just escaped the flames. But who is this note about? And who wrote it? I will deal with it later. Uh, my guess is that is a young Victoria. This book has fallen down from the shelf. Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. My word, it's my stories about your investigations. A real Wait, Sir Arthur Watson Conan Doyle is Watson? My adventures have fallen from this shelf. Someone closed the curtain as the This cabinet has a lot of drawers. Each marked with a letter. But we can't open all. Okay, we have keys. A bunch of keys. A telephone. A technological 13, marble. 13. A number was written next to it quite recently. Fine, educated hand. No, Holmes. yeah, 1313. This number seems very familiar. Yes, but let us dial it to be sure. Miss, get me 1313, please. It is Scott. Judging from all the notes on the board, our reporter is an assiduous okay. and organized worker. Anything I can look at on the board? Okay, let's get a photo of Prince Woodville. A photograph of Prince Woodville. Farley is evidently also interested in this affair. That should not be a surprise to anybody. else I can look at. Uh, news in brief. The convent of St. Anthony in the town of the longest place in the world that I'm not even trying to pronounce on the Isle of Anglesey Wills was the scene of a macabre discovery last Sunday. Upon the villagers' arrival at the convent, with their arms laden with provisions for the nuns in honor of St. Anthony, patrons say of butchers and good meat. It would seem that it was already too late, and the temptation by the aforementioned saint struck brutally within the holy place this fateful day. The convent's 16 nuns apparently succumbed to a collective strain of madness, which resulted in the horrifically devouring one another. The lifeless bodies were found around the canteen, around what appears to have been their last meal, a clear vegetable soup. 
A member of the Episcopi, who wished to remain anonymous, informed us that sometimes such atrocities do strike places where women dwell together. As women, due to the complexity of their natures, are less able to cope with the imposed aestheticism that precedes St. Anthony's Day. Uh, I love comics class. I get to read and analyze webtoons all day. It must be said that it was not necessary for just one more day, and this drama would most probably never have happened. The relic of a sausage offered to St. Anthony by an angel, founded in 987 during the Third Crusade and brought back from Constantinople, remained untouched. A sign that the nuns, even in their madness, were able to remain respectful towards the Lord, this member of the high religious authority told us. Here's what is strange. An attack of collective insanity. For the Globe Explorer, mystery surrounds the body drowned in the Thames. The body of a man discovered yesterday morning upon the banks of the Thames remains a mystery. Autopsy has revealed the amount of water in the victim's lungs confirms the man's death by drowning. However, the many gaping wounds upon his body point to a savage aggression before death. For the moment, no explanation has been provided by authorities. The victim was identified. The man, a 53-year-old bargeman, was already known to law. Or his name has appeared in proceedings relating the differ to the breach of legislation and different merchandise trafficking. Affairs principally in the cereal market? Cereal. Cereal market. Uh, the latest chargeback dates several days. The court was prosecuting the deceased for destruction and degradation of goods, namely a vast quantity of wheat. The raging uh, shortage simultaneously in London would not have encouraged the judge to lean toward leniency, and this horrifying death had not interrupted the proceedings. A horrible story, and rather a strange one. Damn it, now Istanbul. Istanbul, Constantinople, now Istanbul, Constantinople, been a long time. <laughs> Constantinople, why the Constantinople go to the dirt? Yeah. It's fine. Our man left his sandwich unfinished. Anything else? This ashtray is worth examining. This ash comes from an ordinary, well known brand of cigarettes. Oh, there we go. Now I have something to brush onto. The okay, cool. key is still in the lock. Okay. Um, I need the ashes. I must look more attentively. More attentively my foot. Don't give me that. I can make out them. I can make out I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. Yes, I have, I have the thing. Someone has written something. Someone has written something on a sheet of paper. There are traces of it remaining. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, do I need to do, do I need to do this instead? No, not that. No. Seriously? A page of this note. You can read. You've already out. done that. That's all thing I haven't been able to do yet. The ribbon. Yes, I know the ribbon's missing this from this machine. Look, it's right there. <laughs> 